billion dollar telescope is the largest and most powerful in space. It captured these images. Do you become a multi-planet civilization or not? And if you don't, it's simply a matter of time before something happens on your planet. Big news items recently was the discovery of a planet that may end up being the closest planet to us uh, of, of any of them that aren't in our own solar system, Proxima b. The James Webb Telescope has released the clearest image yet of Proxima b. This new picture has thrilled scientists and space enthusiasts alike. They say there is chance that this planet could support life. What could this distant world be hiding? Join us as we explore the latest findings from the James Webb Telescope that will change science for the years to come. Exploring the origins of galaxies. When we look way back, billions of years into space, we can see the beginnings of galaxies. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, takes this a step further, letting us explore the furthest parts of space like never before. The infrared pictures this telescope takes are something no one has ever seen with their own eyes. Using the JWST is a bit like putting a really cool filter on your phone's camera. It changes everything. The JWST lets scientists dig into how the universe started and understand how galaxies, stars, and planets were formed. They use the telescope's special cameras and filters to pick out specific types of light, helping them study these ancient cosmic objects. The JWST also looks at the atmospheres of planets far beyond our solar system to check for signs of life out there. The ability of the JWST to see back in time and space further than ever has led to some amazing new discoveries about how the universe has grown. For instance, it's found more hidden stuff in the universe, like massive galaxies we didn't know had so much mass. Back in 2013, after a long search, astronomers noticed a tiny gravitational pull from a planet on its star. This planet, which goes around Proxima Centauri, was named Proxima b. Discovering Proxima b was exciting because it's in the closest star system to our sun, just four light years away. When we look at the Alpha Centauri system, we're actually seeing it as it was four years ago, which is pretty cool. Proxima b is really something special when it comes to new space discoveries. It's one of the closest exoplanets to us, just 25 light years away. But it's a lot different from Earth, it's about 30% bigger than our planet, and its year is super short, just 11.2 days. It orbits its star, Proxima Centauri, really closely, only 4.5 million miles away, which is much closer than Earth is to the Sun. You might think that being so close to its star would make Proxima be extremely hot, but that's not the case. Proxima Centauri is a small red dwarf star, and it doesn't give off much heat. Standing on Proxima b, you'd see its star as a big, dull red circle in the sky, about three times bigger than our sun. If Proxima b is in the right spot around its star, it could have the right conditions for liquid water. But don't get too excited about visiting Proxima b. It's not much like Earth. It's probably tidally locked, which means one side always faces the star and the other side is always dark. That would make living there pretty tough. Water on the hot side would just boil away and any water on the cold side would freeze. Proxima Centauri isn't the friendliest star either. It's a lot smaller than our sun, so the processes that power it happen closer to its surface, which leads to lots of stellar activity. This activity creates strong magnetic fields and lots of high energy radiation, which isn't great for Proxima b or any potential life there. Until recently, we didn't know much about the conditions around Proxima Centauri. But a new study using detailed maps of the star's magnetic field has given us a better idea. It turns out, Proxima b gets hit with about 1,000 times more solar wind radiation than Earth, which means it faces a lot of intense solar flares and other challenges. In April 2021, a massive solar flare erupted from Proxima Centauri, a star that's our closest neighbor aside from the Sun. This flare was a whopping 100 times stronger than the most intense ones we've seen from our own Sun. Imagining life surviving that kind of harsh radiation without some serious protective measures seems nearly impossible. Although the idea of a planet around Proxima Centauri where life could exist is fascinating, the actual conditions seem far from welcoming. Our curiosity about finding life on other planets has always been strong. That curiosity peaked in late 2020 when scientists detected a strange signal coming from the Alpha Centauri system. 
The signal was unusual because it operated at 932.07 MHz, which isn't a frequency normally used by satellites or other space equipment from Earth. Some people think this might just be interference from human-made technology, but there's also a chance it could indicate something more exciting, like signs of intelligent life. After learning about the JWST and Proxima b, let's look at the exciting plans to travel to distant stars using new technology. Pushing boundaries with Breakthrough Starshot The concept of traveling to Proxima Centauri and potentially meeting alien life forms isn't as far-fetched as it used to be. Projects like the Breakthrough Initiatives are looking into ways to drastically cut down the travel time to other stars from hundreds of years to just decades. Some of the latest research focuses on how we can speed up objects as they get closer to the speed of light, which normally increases their mass. Despite these advancements, using the technology we currently have, it would still take about 6,000 years to get to Alpha Centauri, which makes it a daunting task. The Starshot project specifically targets Alpha Centauri and plans to use lasers to push a spacecraft toward the star system. But there's a big challenge with using lasers from Earth. Our atmosphere distorts the light. Bandutunga, who first authored a key paper on this topic, thinks using what's known as reverse adaptive optics might help. This technique would use small lasers on satellites to measure how the atmosphere affects light and then adjust powerful lasers on the ground to keep them focused on the spacecraft. This part of the project would require a massive amount of power, 100 gigawatts, which is about what the entire United States uses at any given moment. But they would only need to run these lasers at full blast for 10 minutes. To manage this, the plan is to spread out 100 million lasers across a square mile area. The Starshot team is really pushing the limits of what we can do in space exploration. Once the spacecraft is launched, it will be traveling at 20% the speed of light. It's designed to be a bit over 33 feet in diameter and could potentially reach Alpha Centauri in just 22 years. However, the pull from the sun's gravity and debris in space could slow it down. Even after it arrives, it would take another four years for any data it sends back to reach us here on Earth. Keeping the spacecraft from getting too hot is one of the biggest technical hurdles. Bandutunga and another scientist named Sibley are working on making sure the spacecraft's mirror can reflect 99% of the light that hits it. This is crucial because it needs to deflect almost all the incoming light to avoid heating up and burning. They also need to figure out how to get rid of any residual heat quickly. Once it's launched, the probe will fly through the Alpha Centauri system, but it's unlikely to come very close to any of the planets there. What's really exciting is the idea that once the initial system for launching these probes is set up, sending more could become quite cost-effective. If we could send a whole group of these probes to different star systems, the chances of spotting planets similar to Earth would go up dramatically. Just think about it. After reaching Proxima Centauri, we could explore an entire new star system. Who knows how many more planets like ours could be out there? Exoplanets, planets outside our solar system, have been found in the thousands now. The first were confirmed in 1992, orbiting an unusual type of star known as a pulsar. Just three years later, astronomers found the first planet orbiting a star similar to our sun. Since that time, we've discovered a wide variety of planets, including many that are about the size of Earth and some that lie in what we consider the habitable zone of their stars, areas where conditions might be right for water to exist in liquid form. Thanks to major missions like the James Webb Space Telescope and the Kepler Space Observatory, as well as countless studies from Earth, we're just beginning to uncover the unknown answers of our universe. These efforts have opened up new windows into the way planets and star systems form and evolve. But this is just the beginning. We're still at the very early stages of understanding the vastness of space and all the potential it holds. It's an incredibly exciting time to be looking up at the stars, wondering what discoveries await us in the cosmos. With star travel becoming possible, we dive into the history of studying the stars, from ancient times to today's big discoveries. The birth and growth of astronomy. Astronomy, which explores the stars and beyond, stands as one of humanity's oldest scientific pursuits. From ancient times, people have gazed upwards, tracking the consistent patterns of the sun, moon, and stars. 
These early sky watchers connected what they saw with their spiritual beliefs and farming schedules. Historically, the Babylonians are among the first known to record such cosmic observations around 1600 BCE, meticulously charting the paths of heavenly bodies to create sophisticated calendars. In the era of ancient Greece, astronomy began to take a more structured form. Thinkers like Pythagoras and his disciples proposed the idea that our Earth is round, with Aristotle further supporting this through his observations of the Earth's shadow on the moon during lunar eclipses. Another Greek, Hipparchus, was pivotal for crafting the initial catalog of stars and identifying the shifting of the equinoxes. Claudius Ptolemy later emerged, his writings on the Almagest shaping the space science narrative for over a millennium with its Earth-centric universe theory. The period of the Islamic Golden Age brought a flourish of astronomical advancements. Scholars of the time not only translated Greek texts, but also enhanced them, established observatories, and innovated tools like the astrolabe. Notable among them, Al-Batani improved how the solar year was calculated, while Al-Sufi penned the Book of Fixed Stars, enriching our understanding of the constellations. The scene shifted dramatically with the 16th century Copernican Revolution. Nicholas Copernicus put forth a sun-centered solar system model, explaining planetary movements more effectively than previous Earth-centered theories. This period also saw Tycho Brahe's detailed planetary observations which Johannes Kepler used to devise his laws of planetary paths, highlighting their elliptical nature. The introduction of the telescope by Galileo Galilei transformed astronomy, unveiling Jupiter's major moons, Venus's phases, and sunspots. His discoveries strongly backed the sun-centered system. Later, Isaac Newton's principles of motion and gravity solidified our grasp of how celestial bodies move and interact. Moving into the 18th and 19th centuries, figures like William Herschel broadened our cosmic perspective, discovering Uranus and charting vast sections of the night sky to outline our galaxy structure. The pinpointing of Neptune by Johann Galle, based on Urbain Le Verrier's forecasts, exemplified the efficacy of Newtonian physics. The 20th century brought some major changes in how we understand the universe. In the 1920s, Edwin Hubble made groundbreaking observations that showed the universe is getting bigger all the time, which introduced the idea of the Big Bang Theory. Then in the 1960s, scientists found cosmic microwave background radiation, which really helped back up that theory. This radiation is like a leftover glow from the early moments of the universe, giving us a snapshot of what things were like right after the universe began. Space exploration has greatly expanded our understanding of what's out there. The Apollo missions where astronauts actually went to the moon, showed us what the moon's surface is like, and brought back rocks for scientists to study. The Hubble Space Telescope, launched into orbit around Earth, has let us see deeper into space than ever before, capturing images of distant galaxies and phenomena we hadn't seen before. Then in 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope was launched, and it's expected to reveal even more about the early universe looking back in time to see the first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. Astronomy today covers a huge range of topics. Scientists study everything from individual planets and stars up to entire galaxies and the overall structure of the universe. Observatories on Earth and in space use all kinds of techniques to collect light across the spectrum, from radio waves, which help us see through cosmic dust, to gamma rays, which show some of the most energetic events in the universe. One of the most exciting areas in astronomy right now is the study of exoplanets, planets that orbit stars other than our sun. We've found thousands of these so far, and some of them might even be similar to Earth. The field of astronomy keeps growing because of continuous advancements in technology and new discoveries. It combines careful observation with complex theories and the laws of physics to try and understand the big picture of the cosmos. This study of the stars and other celestial objects is a key part of our history as humans trying to understand our place in the universe. It connects us with ancient people who made the first star charts and continues today with scientists using incredibly advanced telescopes. As we keep pushing the boundaries of what we know, astronomy remains a captivating part of our collective quest for knowledge sure to engage many more generations to come. With our knowledge of the stars growing, we continue to search for life beyond Earth, driven by curiosity and new technology. Searching for life beyond Earth. 
The idea that there might be life elsewhere in the universe has captivated human imagination for ages. Our curiosity fuels scientific efforts to explore and uncover signs of life beyond our planet. The quest spans not only our own solar system, but also the far reaches of space where planets orbit distant stars. One key strategy in this search is to pinpoint habitable zones around other stars, regions where the conditions might be just right to support life. These zones are perfect spots for planets to have liquid water, which is crucial for life as we understand it. Scientists estimate that there could be hundreds of millions of such planets in our galaxy alone, but the potential for life could also exist outside these ideal zones. Take, for example, Jupiter's moon Europa, which despite its distance from the sun, holds a subsurface ocean that could possibly support life. Recent scientific advances have brought us tantalizing clues about life on exoplanets. The James Webb Space Telescope, for instance, has spotted what might be signs of an ocean on K218b, a planet more than 100 light years away. It has also detected traces of dimethyl sulfide, a compound associated with life on Earth. While these discoveries are preliminary and need more investigation, they add to the growing excitement about the possibility of finding microbial life beyond Earth within the next few years. The exploration for life isn't just limited to Earth-like planets, Scientists are broadening their horizons by looking at Haitian worlds, larger water-rich planets that might be more conducive to life than smaller rocky ones. These planets, even if they are bigger than Earth, could potentially support life if they possess the necessary chemical building blocks and sources of energy. Mars has been a central focus in the quest to find life. The Viking landers of the 1970s came up empty-handed in their search for life signs, but later missions have shown that Mars had bodies of liquid water in its past. Current missions are busy looking for evidence of past or present life. The detection of methane in the Martian atmosphere and signs of flowing salty water are clues that life might have existed or could still exist under the Martian surface. The search extends beyond our solar system as scientists analyze the atmospheres of far-off exoplanets for signs of life, known as biosignatures. These are substances like oxygen and methane that could suggest biological activity. Instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope allow for detailed studies of these distant planets, enhancing our ability to spot these potential signs of life. In extremely harsh conditions, like in boiling hydrothermal vents, acidic lakes, or the icy extremes of the poles, their existence suggests that life could flourish under a variety of conditions, not just those found on Earth's surface. Both national and international efforts are crucial in this endeavor. Treaties like the Outer Space Treaty and the Moon Agreement set guidelines to ensure that we do not contaminate other planets and to protect Earth from potential hazards from outer space. Agencies such as NASA and the European Space Agency lead the charge, conducting missions and research to delve deeper into these questions. The ongoing search for alien life is driven by both public fascination and scientific inquiry. Advances in technology, like more powerful telescopes and sophisticated space probes, continually improve our ability to detect potential signs of life. The discovery of even the simplest life forms elsewhere would revolutionize our understanding of biology and evolution and profoundly shift our perception of our place in the cosmos. Could the clear image of Proxima b be a groundbreaking discovery that changes our understanding of the universe? Or is it just another cosmic problem? What do you think about the potential of life on this distant planet? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below and remember to like and subscribe for more.